Oh, are you on the better bit? The yeah. What do you think of it? This is amazing. And I but I think I'm more in love with the aesthetic of the of the can yeah. Yeah. than I am with the actual beer. That's a free brand it looks deal. looks fucking it sick. Is. The reason I bought better beer was because I was going to bring my favorite beer. Yeah. Pretty much there was this whole ordeal where um because I was posting drinking videos all the time and then the this chick messaged me just like, "Oh, I'm a big fan. My parents own st I'll get you <laughs> casually sent like I'll get you sent some stuff." And then Back then, I got like my agent at the time to reach out to them and then they reached out and they're like, oh, we'll give Liam like an ongoing sponsorship where we'll pay him in uh, unlimited beers. And they're like, in the meantime, we'll pay him with like a free merch pack. What's all of his sizes? And I was like, oh, I'm an XL in everything. And then they fucking just ghosted me and then they sent me merch like three months later. It was all a size small. I was like, it's not They've even like I can wear the, the fucking pace. merch that you gave me. So ever since then, I've just not been giving them the praise, but better be inspired unemployed like they're good blokes. Oh wait, so is them. this their beer? It's their beer, yeah. Oh, oh that's pretty sick to be fair. Wow, wow. I yeah. So how well does the beer do, do you reckon? Like, is it popular in Australia? Yeah, unreal. Uh, they, cause we have, cause you can't, I don't know about the UK, but you can't buy alcohol at like uh, gas stations here. You have to buy it at so purely backwards. alcohol specific shops. Mm -hmm. Bottle shops. Um, yeah, bottle yeah. So yeah. we have this major distributor, Dan Murphy's, which if you get like the Dan Murphy's deal in the alcohol business, you've kind of made it and you, set for life um so yeah they've so got they the did Murphy's that, they deal did that? and wow. they're in pubs as well on tap now uh wow. they're in pretty much every, you can buy it everywhere now so they're doing extremely well so Damn. good on them shout, well, out, shout to out to them shout out yeah, to, shout out shout out to them fucking thank shout you for this chat because this yeah. is a, i'm even wearing that yeah i was literally gonna say i feel like you've come on here they've defo <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> money this to rock set up, up with a little beer liam plug the shit out of us please promise this wasn't set up i just said i was having a bad hair day and this is the only hat i had so now you're giving me an idea i'm gonna go home and we're gonna we're gonna do the exact same business model yeah i'm surprised you guys don't have your own we did talk about that we've spoken about it but the, but the problem is a lot of the time when you when we speak to these companies they just want a big old fucking yeah. percentage and, and and fuck you for that mm. so we're, we're gonna do it ourselves but we'll do it at the right time if we could do it and pull it off and make it look as good as like this yeah. looks, i'd be so proud even if we sold one ball and that one yeah. ball would probably be you yeah yeah i'll buy it for sure i'll and come you on got, i'll come uh, on you that's brave of you to assume he would do your it. hat yeah. no <laughs> and then we need <laughs> no we need you to go on their podcast yeah. Yeah. oh yeah right yeah and i'll do, actually and, do, and that. do the reverse and, uh, yeah. the pushing it yeah i'm down for that and that's i'll, I'll tell idea. the same lies that i didn't mean to wear the hat yeah. oh yeah it was an accident guys <laughs> i really don't know what's going on um but yeah so you're like massive on tiktok is that your favorite platform what's your favorite platform um, yeah, well, it's weird to hear that massive on TikTok because I'm like, fuck, I did not think of myself in that way. But, um, I mean, TikTok, I just started kind of in COVID because everyone was, I've always had a passion for acting and writing and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then during COVID in Australia, it was super intense. I don't know about the UK. I think it was similar, but mm. it was super intense lockdown. And I was like, why am I wasting so much time on TikTok watching other people? I could just be doing that. Like I could just be making videos. It doesn't look hard. Um, so I started making them and then it was probably like three months of getting no views and no traction. And initially I was making the shittest stuff. If I can find <laughs> you know, it- that, That's it how you. it always no, starts. No, no. Li listen, you think people have start, had bad starts. I was making like, I would get clips from the Inbetweeners TV show and then like film myself voice over what they were saying and like act it out that way. <laughs> if I can fuck? find one, I'll send I it to you. I need to see this. Because it was it. fucking horrendous. So you didn't have yourself on camera to begin with? No, it was myself, but I was right. mouthing like, two, I was mouthing the in-between. If anyone who's watching this has seen those, saying. then they're yeah. a real one. Um, but then, yeah, so I started uh, making sort of my own sketches and writing my own stuff. And that's kind of when it all took off a little bit more. Um, and it was weird as well because for the first four or five months that I was doing it, I had like 500,000 TikTok followers, but we were in such intense lockdown that I hadn't been outside. Yeah. And so I had never like experienced a fan interaction or anything like that. And then the first time I did, I went to Sydney and it was like a massive shock because I was like, damn, so many people mm -hmm. know who I am. Like I thought it just feels like numbers on the screen.